Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. This is the August 2024 update for the YouTube channel and the Now Spinning Magazine website. Welcome. This is for music fans who love to buy and collect physical music, whether it's on CD or vinyl. This is multi-format. I am multi-format man. In fact, many of you are similar to me. I know. Um, this is a rock-centric channel, but it isn't just rock music. I cover everything here from soul, pop, jazz, fusion, obviously, um, and even classical music now with my wife Sue joining me on a, on a few videos. But yes, there's metal, there's prog, there's rock. But I always wanted this to be like Sounds or NME or Melody Maker, if you're from the UK. So like a music newspaper, so I can talk about anything. I can talk about CD sales, physical music sales. I can talk about new releases. I can cover anything. And the other thing is, this is a place of relatively low drama. Um, well, very low drama. Um, there's very, there isn't any clickbait. Why did I nearly say nearly? I'll come to that. Um, but... I have a kind of a reputation for being rather enthusiastically positive about most things that I cover here. Um, I can't be enthusiastic about being negative, as I said before. However, um, I am going to do a feature this month because um, a couple of people have said, Phil, is there anything you don't like? I mean, everything you do here is kind of always you're so positive about it. Um, I think we live in dark times. So, yes, I, I do want to be positive. Um, and I'm certainly not going to do um, 10 albums that suck or anything. However, I did think there's no bands I hate, um, but there are some bands that I haven't really covered here. Um, and there's five of them in particular that you might be surprised to know that it's not so much I don't like them. I just don't get them um, at the moment. I always think that at some point I'm suddenly going to go, ah, a bit like like in olives. Uh, I didn't like the taste of an olive until I was about 40. Um, there are some bands like that where it's taken me years to suddenly go, oh, wow. Um, maybe some of the bands I'm actually nervous in case I suddenly do like them. I'm going to have to literally open up a whole new shelf in the house to accommodate their whole back catalogue. However, there are some bands that I still don't get. And I think it'll be a surprise when you find out who they are. Um, so that's coming up. And there are also some great features coming up this month. And they'll probably roll into September because I'm a bit late. It's the 9th of August when I film this. Um, but anyway, um, the weekly playlist playlist video is still is still going out every month. And thank you for sharing what you're playing as well, because it really inspires me to play stuff at the same time. Um, there's obviously the classic album stuff. There's the reviews. My reviews are always honest. So if I think a record label has cut corners or is charging too much, I will point that out. Um, but I love also talking about stuff that's been out for ages and maybe it's now hard to find. Um, so there's lots of that. There's lots of ranking videos, which I look, enjoy doing those. I mean, YouTube is a wash with them, isn't it? But I think the Now Spinning magazine kind of fairy dust that sprinkles down upon them makes them a little bit different, I hope. Um, oh, on the podcast... Should I tell you about the podcast or should I actually say something else first of all? I, I need to say this. I launched the Now Spinning Magazine merch less than a month ago. And loads of you, loads of you from around the world have bought T-shirts and sent me photographs of you wearing the T-shirts and the, and the coffee mugs and the badges and all sorts of stuff that I've been doing behind the scenes. It's amazing and it really is making a difference. Thank you so much. And I know some of you are patrons and YouTube members as well, but thank you. Thank you so much. There are three T-shirt designs and a multitude of, of colours um, to choose from. But thank you so much for helping me here 
follow my passion and sharing my stories and memories about music. And I know you love the storytelling side of things. And yes, I'm going to talk about my time of being in a new wave of British heavy metal band. Yes, all that's coming. I've got an idea of doing that as well. Anyway, the podcast. Now, many people interview people on YouTube, don't they? I think why I'm, I get so excited about it is because you only have to roll back 18 months, really, uh, two years perhaps, and I'd never done it. But thankfully, thanks to your encouragement, I seem to have found a thread where my style of talking, because I'm a fan, I'm a music fan. That's, that's, I'm not a trained music fan, but that's, I just, I'm a fan. So I think everyone I talk to, I think they start to realise that. And I've managed, people have said things to me in my interviews that they've never said anywhere else. Um, I mean, if someone had said to me, Phil, take me back in a time machine to Birmingham Odeon, 1978. This is just straight off the top of my head. I saw Wishbone Ash on the front page news tour. If someone had said to me, there I was about halfway back at the Birmingham Odeon, and someone had said, Phil, one day you'll talk to Andy Powell. I would never have believed it. Yes, going for the one tour, uh, Stafford Bingley Hall. One day, Phil, you'll talk to Steve Howe twice. Right, that's my, I think that will be my entry point, the podcast. I have just interviewed Steve Howe for the second time. I've interviewed Neil Carter and Phil Mogg about Mogg's Motel from UFO. What a band. What a band. Uh, Jordan Rudas from Dream Theatre. Yes, I've spoken to him. Steve Hackett. I'm going to talk to Steve for the third time. Martin Turner and Andy Powell from Wishbone Ash. So Andy Powell this for the second time. Separate interviews, I might add. Cats in Space. Support the Cats, great band, second time. Um, Tim Bonus, um, Steve Wilson's right-hand man in many ways, um, talking to him. Uh, Pure Reason Revolution, great prog band, talking to John from that band. Tony Carey from Rainbow Rising fame. Now that is going to be super dupe. Um, who else have I got on here? I also have... I've mentioned these two guys before, but I'm mentioning it again because I'm just waiting for the dates. Biff Byford from Saxon. Oh, love Saxon. But Rob Halford, Judas Priest. I'm in touch with Rob's um, personal manager and I'm just waiting for the date and that is going to be great. Two guys from Birmingham talking about metal. It's going to be fantastic. And Michael Debar, who's got a new album out soon as well. Um, Michael opened many doors uh, for me in confidence, let alone anything else. Um, so that's really good. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, um, I'm going to start to do use the community tab more. I'm going to do these more polls and stuff. I'm going to ask this loads of really big features coming out. Um, I'd mention things like the decade that define rock. Um, focus on specific years um and i i suppose one of the biggest ones because i know every time i mention sabbath or purple um all the all the algorithms head towards me so i haven't forgotten that um so th there is the deep purple mark one uh, video there's a deep purple um live video and there's also i also wanted to visit um how when i was growing up being a small small guy um at school that the holy trinity of british rock for those of you in the who came from the uk first of all was purple zeppelin and sabbath in any particular order those were the three um and i asked in the community tab on youtube how you would rank them and i didn't say what I, how i would rank them and you all said and it was it kind of was a surprise I think, um, but I'm going to do uh, what I should have said was um, 
who do you play the most? Because I think it was a bit unfair. It was like somebody said it was like being asked to choose your favourite child. Fair enough. And also, should I have included your heap? So I'm going to do a feature on that and equally say, what were my favourites in 1972? Why then? Well, because any previous to that, I was too young. From 1972, mid 70s, because it changed and where I am now. And then I'm going to also um, focus on my top three albums is for somebody who'd never heard of these bands, where you should, what would be your entry point. Um, so so that, that's a feature as well. So there's my feature of my five bands that I still don't get. The purple stuff. Loads of reviews. I'm not holding up lots of stuff because these videos go on forever when I do that. But there's a lot of really great stuff coming up that I'm covering and some looking back as well. So remember, the merch is here. But more than that, um, finally, because I always end up on this phrase, music is the healer and the doctor. And that is actually one of the T-shirt designs. And it's something I say at the end of every one of my videos. And I say that because the other thing is beyond just being a music fan is how much music has meant to me in my life. Um, yes, I play guitar, but I listen to music, the power of music, listening to music. Music has got me through some really, really difficult times. Um, it, but it has also been like a diary. It's been like markers in time what have been going on through my life, where it's been really happy events, not so happy events. Music has been always there. I've picked music to play, like taking my vitamins, you know, how I feel. I choose what I'm listening to, to try and change the atmosphere of the room. I mean, how I feel in myself. Um, and so mental health is also incredibly important to me and the power of music is a healing force. And I mean that because it is it is like a, a separate language. How you can have people who can't speak the same language, literally. You put music on and people connect. Same way as your musicians who've never met can just start to play music together. And so I do a music for mental health series as well. And I'm a bit behind on that, but I am releasing two videos later this month on that subject. Um, because I do think music is that special and that's why the kind of ethos behind Now Spinning Magazine and the YouTube channel, if that's where you're watching this, is this is a, a caring place where you can put anything in the comments and you won't get any snarky remarks. You won't see abuse or trolls because I want this to be just like the Facebook group. If you're on there, I want it to be a place where people can feel safe. So that is very important to me. So I'm always around looking at what's what's going on. So thank you again for all of your support and thank you for all of you who've sent me emails, messages, connecting with me on other aspects of social media or, or, or through the website or here on the YouTube channel if that's where you are. And for those of you supporting me a bit further with Patreon um, or being a YouTube member or if you bought a mug. There's several designs in that as well. Anyway, there's some great music coming up ahead. Stay safe, everybody. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. And I'll see you all very, very soon.